Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. Uh, today's tour is going to be of something a little bit different. Um, instead of a tiny house, this was, uh, this was a custom shaved ice stand uh, we did a few months ago. Kind of a color theme going on here that you'll see with the blue and yellow. Uh, to start with, for outside, to sit, once you get your shaved ice, we've got a little covered bar, a little portable bar here, it's all treated construction. It's got the matching blue and yellow, a little bit of siding and roof. Anyway, pretty simple. We've got four bar stools on each side, so that'll actually seat eight people there. Um, something else goes with this unit as a package, more or less. We've got a couple of blue and yellow hand-shaped chairs. But this, uh, this unit is built permanently on a trailer. Um, it's eight foot wide, 14 foot long, so it's a road legal unit. We've got a little flip up awning to go over this side of the serving windows. Uh, this unit actually has several of these sliding windows that will work for serving that you could use from, from any spot. But for this one, it was set up for this one side. Well, got a couple of napkin holders that hang on the side that can go in at nighttime. We've only got one out right now. There's another one that hangs on that end. Got spoon dispenser. There's actually another spoon dispenser. Also another straw dispenser like this one. So there's set up for two serving windows with all the utensils needed of course different flavors and stuff marked we've got I'm not sure you can tell but there's rope lights that go all around the signage and around the perimeter of the unit that are also blue and yellow to match up uh, give you a shot here on the front show you the uh, water heater We've got an exterior mount on demand propane water heater propane bottle there a couple of windows in this end as well. Go around here to the side, to the other end, I'm sorry, and give you a look inside. We've got a three foot wide, 15 light entry door here going in. Uh, we'll start with on this back end, you can see we've got, we got a little air conditioner unit mounted back here. It does a great job keeping this little thing cool. We've got a large fridge, a 14 cubic foot fridge. We've got counter space. It runs down the rest of this end and across, excuse me, rest of this side and then across the end down there. Anyway, here you can see we got the, the cube shaver and there's also another one of those 2020 sliding windows that could work as a serving window if you needed to change the layout in this unit. Um, got three stainless steel wall mounted cup dispensers for the three different sizes that were served in here. Got a light fixture above. There's 70 some odd different flavors represented in this particular stand. so. These are the display of the, the actual mixed flavorings. And then the concentrates are mounted on a shelf above the far end. We've got some more shelving for storage that runs back to the end that we walked in on. Um, then we have, of course, there's a serving window that's been in use and a little counter space to work at, uh, cash register mounted. Again, there's another window there in the center Another serving window, a lot of natural light in here. There's the other spoon and napkin and straw dispensers ready to go up. We've got a few of these wall mounted pull down napkin dispensers for inside for cleanup. Um, as required, of course, for health codes, we've got a three compartment sink and faucet there. Separate hand washing sink and faucet here to the side. We've got soap dispenser mounted on the wall above that. Um, pan back around here by the cash register. We've got a hand sanitizer automatic mounted above the register again a couple of windows in that end we've got a little pedestal built for the uh, simple sugar simple syrup I'm sorry that for mixing the uh, concentrates um, we've got but down below we've got a fresh water tank that fills from the outside we've got 110 volt power pump to pump water into the sinks and then back below the counter behind the little curtain is the uh, the drain tank that drains to the outside of course so um, this little stand as a package unit at time of video is, is actually for sale um, ceiling fan anyway just a quick little tour here uh, this is of course has been inspected by Arkansas Health Department everything's good uh, set up for as I said as a shaved ice stand but could be could be converted with a few little Modifications could be used for cooking as well. 
Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate the support. If you have any questions about this or one of our previous builds or a custom build, as always, contact me anytime via text or call 870-213-5310 or email me anytime at ozarksbest at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching, guys.